Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be starting to build the uh, sea view from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. This is a re-release Mobius kit. Um, I don't remember who originally came out with this one, but it used to be Polar Lights as well. This is the 1 350 scale version. Uh, I know there's a much bigger one out there that I'd like to build one of these days, but right now we're going to do this one. I got this at a local hobby store and it was at a great price. I just couldn't pass it up. I've always been a fan of the movie and the show of this, so looking forward to building it. The original Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea movie released in 1961. It was an Irwin Allen directed uh, film and was very successful at the time. In fact, they followed it up with a television series that released in 1964 and ran for four seasons. And granted, all of these were released originally long before I was born. And when I finally came around, came on the scene around 1968, it was still a few years till I was able to watch them in reruns. And um, like I said, always been a big fan of the movies and the TV series. And just uh, this is the real star of the uh, show is the sea view and the flying sub, which I'm also going to do a kit of that as well. So let's get started and crack into the box. This is a very, a very basic kit. There's not much to it. Uh, there's our two hull halves. Sorry, mommy. Um, we have some parts for the base, which will be fun to paint. It's kind of an underwater scene base. That'll be kind of cool. And then we have some assorted parts for the rest of the hull and the rear and uh, wing set uh, where the engines are. And we have some clear parts, which consist of one windshield. So again, not a very complex kit to build. The fun of this kit will be the details and the painting, uh, nice directions, um, <laughs> very simple directions, as you can see, not a whole lot to them. So I'll probably end up putting the base together first because that's something that I'm gonna wanna spend a little time detailing on. And then we'll build it in, probably build it in sections initially, and then do some individual painting of those sections, and then put it all together and do some final detailing and weathering. And eventually it will look something you know, like that. Or so we're gonna get started and have some fun. Okay, friends, we're back here for a quick update. So been doing some building and um, the kit's fairly straightforward. I will say this, the hardest part of this kit thus far has been gluing the two hull halves together. Um, I don't know if it's just because poor engineering or because maybe mine is a little warped. I'm not sure. But that was a pain. Uh, it took me quite a while to get everything lined up. And uh, even though I did get them lined up, they're not perfect. I'm going to have several seam lines here and there that I'm going to have to deal with. Um, and that's fine. That's okay. I don't mind dealing with seam lines and sanding and putty. And that's part of the fun. Um, I will have to do some major issue solving down here on these seams here. They're pretty bad. Um, but all in all, it's uh, coming together quickly. That's good. So the next step is going to be um, letting this dry really well. Um, I may go ahead and paint the base and get that started. Also, the way the uh, nacelles are designed, you have to kind of pre-install things ahead of time. So this is going to be a little challenging, but I think I can do it no problem. Uh, just going to take some planning 
I think what I may do is actually detail and paint the inside of the nacelles and then before putting them together and then put them together and then mask what I can off and then finish up my cleanup, my seam lines, and then final attachment to the sub. And then also just have to go back and be careful as I'm um, painting the rest of the hull. Um, so we'll be doing that. Um, on the conning tower here, I have not put in all the parts that go up here. These are some extremely, extremely, insanely small parts for this kit. Um, yeah, they're just dinky. There's a couple ladders. Um, the props aren't bad, but these ladders are tiny. These little periscopes and stuff and this radar dish is just super tiny. So I've got to be really careful with those. And uh, we don't want the uh, parts to break off and go flying across the room like I've had happen before. So as you can see, this one just fell off. Okay, so, so anyways, I am going to get back to working and building and we'll be back.
Hello everyone. All right, so here we go. Here we have our finished model of the sea view from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. This was a cool kit. Um, it had its challenges. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, the fit on the hull pieces was not very well engineered. And um, some of the tiny parts I had some challenges with, but all in all, the uh, kit came out great. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a fair amount of detail um, and uh, it, it looks the part. I mean, for, for the kit being what it is and a fairly old mold and a fairly old kit, um, I like it. It's going to look great on the shelf. Um, you know, it, it doesn't have a whole lot of detail on the hull. So I wasn't able to really do a lot of effects. I, I really didn't want to do like a, a damaged, beat up version of it because, you know, never really see that. Um, but I did kind of think about maybe putting some holes in the hull and, and doing some, you know, where some torpedoes or depth charges is hit it or something. But no, I just went with kind of a basic paint job. I kind of wanted it to look like a shark going through the water. That's why I... You know, the bottom is kind of an ivory color and then it fades into the gray. Uh, kind of has the appearance of a shark like that. Uh, the base, the base came out really good. I like how that came out. Um, kind of looks like it's underwater. I really like that. A lot of uh, airbrushing that I used on that um, came out really nice. I like it. So I uh, definitely would uh, suggest this kit for an advanced modeler, maybe not a beginner modeler. Some of these fit issues could be a little challenging and I don't want to deter anyone from the hobby because this is for fun and I built this kit the way I wanted to do it because I I wanted to have fun with it and I did and so yeah so thanks again for watching the show and I appreciate you guys coming by if you have any comments leave them down below would love to hear from you uh, please like please subscribe and we're going to have some more content coming real soon so Everybody have fun, be safe, and go build something.